Picture this, a single $10,000 investment in Coca-Cola back in 1919, with all dividends reinvested, would be worth over $20 million today. That's the incredible power of dividend investing done right. And today, I'm going to show you five exceptional companies that have been paying and increasing their dividends for over 300 years combined. These aren't just any dividend stocks, these are dividend kings. The elite class of dividend-paying companies that have raised their payouts every single year for at least 50 consecutive years. Think about that for a moment. These companies have consistently increased their dividends through the 1970s inflation crisis, the dot-com bubble, the 2008 financial meltdown, the COVID pandemic, and every other market crash and recession in between. While other companies were slashing dividends or going bankrupt, these five powerhouses were actually putting more money in their shareholders' pockets. But here's what's really exciting. Right now, due to recent market conditions, several of these legendary companies are trading at attractive valuations, creating a rare opportunity for long-term investors. In the next 25 minutes, I'm going to break down exactly why these five dividend kings deserve a place in your forever portfolio, show you their hidden strengths that most investors miss, and reveal the key metrics that signal their ability to keep raising dividends for decades to come. Before we dive in, if you appreciate in-depth stock analysis like this, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started with understanding what makes these dividend kings so special. Before we dive into these five incredible companies, let's understand what puts these stocks in a league of their own. In the world of dividend investing, there's actually a clear hierarchy that most investors don't know about. Think of it like a pyramid, where only the most elite companies reach the top. At the foundation, we have what we call dividend contenders. These are companies that have increased their dividends for 10 to 24 consecutive years. While that's impressive, it's just the beginning. Move up the pyramid and you'll find the dividend aristocrats. Companies that have raised their dividends for 25 to 49 years straight. But today, we're focusing on the cream of the crop. Dividend kings, companies with 50 or more years of consecutive dividend increases. But here's what's crucial to understand. And this is where most investors get it wrong. Just because a company has increased its dividend for 50 years doesn't automatically make it a good investment today. We need to look deeper. And I've developed a five-point checklist that I use to evaluate every dividend stock. First, we look at the payout ratio. This tells us how much of a company's earnings are being used to pay dividends. A payout ratio below 75% generally indicates the dividend is safe and has room to grow. Think of it as a safety buffer. Second is free cash flow coverage. This is absolutely critical. A company needs strong, consistent cash flow to maintain and grow its dividend. I look for companies whose free cash flow comfortably exceeds their dividend payments by at least 1.5 times. Third, we examine the balance sheet strength. High debt levels can strangle a company's ability to maintain its dividend during tough times. I pay particular attention to the debt to EBITDA ratio and interest coverage ratios. Fourth is competitive advantage, or what Warren Buffett calls a moat. Without a strong competitive advantage, a company's ability to maintain its dividend growth streak becomes questionable. We want companies with pricing power, brand strength, or other clear advantages over competitors. Finally, we look at growth potential. A company needs growing earnings and cash flow to support growing dividends. I analyze factors like market share, industry trends, and management's track record of capital allocation. Using these five criteria, I've analyzed dozens of dividend kings, and the five we're about to discuss not only pass these tests but excel in most categories. Let's start with our first company, a global beverage giant that's been quenching both thirst and investors' desire for growing dividends. Our first dividend king is Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO, a company that literally wrote the book on building a global brand. With a current market cap of $274 billion, this isn't just a beverage company. It's a cash flow generating machine that's been raising its dividend for an impressive 61 consecutive years. Let's break down why Coca-Cola deserves a spot in your portfolio using our five-point checklist. But first, let's talk performance. Over the past 12 months, shares of KO have climbed 12%. However, what's really interesting is the recent 15% pullback over the past two months, 
which I believe presents an attractive entry point for long-term investors. Let's start with the financial health. Coca-Cola's EBITDA has grown consistently over the past decade, reaching approximately $15.5 billion. This steady growth in operational earnings is crucial because it supports both the dividend and future growth initiatives. What's particularly impressive is how they've achieved this growth while maintaining industry-leading operating margins. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The GLP-1 weight loss drug concerns that sent the stock down to the low $50 range last year. Here's why I believe the market overreacted. Coca-Cola isn't just about sugary drinks anymore. Management has brilliantly diversified their portfolio to include zero sugar alternatives, sports drinks, premium water brands, health-focused beverages. This adaptability is exactly what you want to see in a dividend king. Looking at valuation, and this is where it gets really interesting. Coca-Cola is currently trading at a forward P.E. of 21.6 times next year's expected earnings of $2.90 per share. To put this in perspective, this is well below their 5-year average of 25.8 times and their 10-year average of 24 times. In other words, you're getting a premium company at a discount valuation. Now let's talk about what really matters. The dividend. Currently, Coca-Cola offers a solid 3% dividend yield. But here's what makes this yield even more attractive. It's backed by strong fundamentals. A payout ratio around 75%, consistent free cash flow coverage, strong balance sheet metrics, growing cash flows. Let's explore the real power of dividend compounding with Coca-Cola through a practical example. Looking back 10 years ago, shares of Coca-Cola traded at around $37 and 50 cents. With an initial investment of $15,000, you would have been able to purchase approximately 400 shares. In the first year, with Coca-Cola's dividend rate at that time, your annual dividend income would have been around $528. Now, fast forward 10 years to today. Thanks to Coca-Cola's consistent dividend growth policy, those same shares would now be generating approximately $1,680 in annual dividend income. But here's where it gets really exciting. Let's say you took that same $15,000 initial investment that bought you 400 shares and then committed to investing an additional $750 every month while reinvesting all your dividends. Your journey would start with that $528 in annual dividend income from your initial position. Through the powerful combination of your consistent monthly investments of $750 Coca-Cola's 61 years of consecutive dividend increases. The compounding effect of dividend reinvestment over the decade. Your annual dividend income would have grown to approximately $7,200 today. This dramatic increase in dividend income demonstrates how combining regular investing with dividend reinvestment in a quality company like Coca-Cola can create a substantial passive income stream. Even more impressive is how this systematic approach transforms your monthly $750 contributions into significant wealth over time, harnessing the full potential of Coca-Cola's reliable dividend growth. However, we need to acknowledge the risks. Changing consumer preferences. GLP-1 drug impacts on beverage consumption, currency fluctuations, competition from local brands. Despite these challenges, Coca-Cola's proven ability to adapt and grow makes it a cornerstone holding for any dividend growth portfolio. Their pricing power, distribution network, and brand value create a moat that's nearly impossible for competitors to cross. Moving on to our next dividend king, Johnson & Johnson J&J has long been a favorite among income-oriented investors. The company operates in the healthcare sector and currently boasts a impressive market cap of $374 billion. Over the past 12 months, J&J shares have climbed a modest 3%. While that performance may not seem overly exciting, it's important to recognize the challenging environment the company has navigated in recent years. Specifically, Johnson & Johnson has had to contend with legal issues surrounding its talc powder products as well as the spin-off of its consumer health segment. However, despite these obstacles, the company has remained steadfast in its commitment to delivering consistent growth and free cash flow, a critical driver of its ability to maintain and grow its dividend. In fact, 
Johnson & Johnson currently generates over $19 billion in annual free cash flow, providing a solid foundation for its dividend payments. From a valuation standpoint, shares of JNJ are trading at a forward P.E. of just 14.6 times next year's expected earnings of $10.59 per share. This is well below the stock's own historical 5-year and 10-year average multiples of 17.2 times, suggesting the shares are currently undervalued. Turning to the dividend, Johnson & Johnson offers investors an attractive 3.2% yield. But the real story is the company's impressive streak of 61 consecutive years of dividend increases, a true testament to its financial discipline and shareholder focus. Let's see how a long-term investment in Johnson & Johnson could have grown over time with the power of dividend reinvestment. Going back 10 years, when shares of J&J &J traded at $78.86, let's consider an initial investment of $15,000. At that share price, you would have been able to purchase approximately 190 shares. In your first year, with J&J's dividend rate at that time, your dividend income would have been around $520. Fast forward to today, and thanks to J&J's impressive track record of dividend increases, those same shares would now be generating approximately $1,230 in annual dividend income. But here's where the power of systematic investing combined with dividend reinvestment really shines. Let's say you took that initial $15,000 investment that bought you 190 shares and then committed to investing an additional $750 every month while reinvesting all your dividends. Your journey would begin with that $520 in annual dividend income from your initial position. Through the powerful combination of your consistent monthly investments of $750, Johnson & Johnson's remarkable 61-year streak of dividend increases. The compounding effect of dividend reinvestment over the decade. Your annual dividend income would have grown to approximately $6,800 today. This substantial increase in dividend income illustrates the power of combining regular investing with dividend reinvestment in a blue-chip healthcare company like Johnson & Johnson. What's particularly impressive is how this methodical approach transforms your monthly $750 contributions into a significant income stream over time, all while investing in a company that's demonstrated unwavering commitment to shareholder returns through six decades of dividend growth. Despite the various headwinds the company has faced, Johnson & Johnson's diversified healthcare business model, strong free cash flow generation, and commitment to shareholder returns make it a compelling dividend king worthy of consideration for any long-term, income-focused portfolio. Now let's turn to our third dividend king, Walmart, WMT, a company that's been absolutely crushing it in recent years. With a massive market cap of $674 billion, Walmart isn't just the largest retailer in the world. It's the largest company on our list today. And there's a good reason for that. Over the past 12 months, Walmart shares have surged an impressive 55%. But here's what's really fascinating. This isn't just a short-term pop. Walmart has been systematically transforming itself from a traditional brick-and-mortar retailer into a true omni-channel powerhouse. Remember when everyone thought Amazon would be the death of Walmart? Well, that story didn't quite play out as expected. Instead, Walmart has undergone one of the most impressive digital transformations in retail history. They've not only matched Amazon's convenience features, but added unique advantages that leverage their massive physical footprint. Let's break down what makes Walmart special. First, their digital evolution has been nothing short of remarkable. Online sales are growing at roughly 20% annually, and they've successfully integrated their e-commerce platform with their physical stores. You can now get two-day shipping, same-day delivery, curbside pickup, in-store returns for online purchases. But here's what really sets them apart, their supply chain innovation. Walmart has turned their 4,700-plus U.S. stores into mini-distribution centers, giving them a massive advantage in last-mile delivery that even Amazon can't match. Looking at the financials, Walmart continues to demonstrate impressive capital efficiency. Their free cash flow has remained robust, even while investing heavily in digital infrastructure. This financial strength supports not only their dividend, but also their ongoing transformation. 
Now let's talk valuation. I'll be honest, after the recent run-up, Walmart isn't cheap. The stock currently trades at a forward P.E. of 31.3 times expected earnings of $2.72 per share, well above their five-year average of 23.7 times. This premium valuation reflects the market's confidence in Walmart's execution and future prospects. Regarding the dividend, Walmart currently offers a 1% yield, which might seem modest compared to other dividend kings. However, what's truly impressive is their 50-plus year streak of dividend increases. This consistency through multiple economic cycles demonstrates their remarkable resilience. Let's look at a real-world example of how an investment in Walmart could grow over time. Looking back 10 years ago, let's say you invested $15,000 in Walmart when shares traded around $42.72. That initial investment would have bought you approximately 351 shares. In the first year, with Walmart's dividend rate at that time, your dividend income would have been about $500. But here's where it gets interesting. Fast forward to today, through consistent dividend increases and price appreciation, those same shares would now generate around $1,200 in annual dividend income. But let's explore how powerful this strategy becomes when combined with regular monthly investments. Starting with that initial $15,000 investment that secured you 351 shares, imagine you also committed to investing an additional $750 every month while reinvesting all your dividends. Your journey would begin with that $500 in annual dividend income from your initial position. However, through the combination of your consistent monthly investments of $750, Walmart's dividend increases over the decade, and the compounding effect of dividend reinvestment, your annual dividend income would have grown to approximately $8,400 today. This dramatic increase in dividend income demonstrates the power of combining regular investing with dividend reinvestment in a high-quality company like Walmart. What's particularly impressive is how this systematic approach transforms relatively modest monthly contributions into a substantial income stream over time, even with a company that offers a lower initial yield but maintains steady dividend growth. Looking ahead, Walmart has several powerful growth drivers. Expansion into healthcare services, growing advertising revenue, financial services initiatives, international e-commerce growth, especially in markets like India. However, we should acknowledge some risks. Intense competition from Amazon and others. Rising labor costs. Potential margin pressure. Economic sensitivity. Despite these challenges, Walmart's proven ability to adapt and evolve, combined with their unmatched scale and improving digital capabilities, makes them a compelling choice for long-term dividend investors. While the current valuation suggests waiting for a better entry point, this is definitely a stock you want on your watch list. Now let's turn to our fourth dividend king, Target Corporation TGT, a retailer that has undergone a remarkable transformation in recent years. Target operates in the consumer staples sector with a current market cap of $70 billion, and their journey over the past few years has been quite interesting. Looking at performance over the past 12 months, Target shares have climbed 36%. However, this number doesn't tell the whole story. When we zoom out to a five-year view, we see the same 36% return, a stark contrast to Walmart's 115% return over the same period. But here's why I'm particularly excited about Target right now. Let's talk about the impressive turnaround story. Management has successfully addressed several major challenges. Post-pandemic inventory issues, store modernization initiatives, strategic price investments, enhanced omni-channel capabilities. What's particularly encouraging is Target's free cash flow recovery. After briefly dipping negative in 2022 due to significant store investments, free cash flow has now rebounded above the $5 billion level. This recovery demonstrates management's ability to execute and adapt in challenging conditions. From a valuation perspective, Target looks quite attractive right now. The company is expected to generate EPS of $10.45 per share next year, putting the stock at a forward P.E. of just 14.3 times. To put this in perspective, this is well below their historical five-year average of 17.6 times, suggesting shares are currently undervalued. 
Looking at the dividend, Target offers an impressive combination of yield and growth. Currently, the stock provides a nearly 3% dividend yield, backed by a strong 11% 5-year dividend growth rate. Even more impressive is their 55-year streak of consecutive dividend increases, firmly establishing their position as a dividend king. Let's explore how an investment in Target could have grown over time. Ten years ago, shares of Target traded at $68.30. With an initial investment of $15,000, you would have been able to purchase approximately 220 shares. In your first year, with Target's dividend rate at that time, your annual dividend income would have been around $417, based on the historical dividend rate. Now, fast forward a decade, and thanks to Target's consistent dividend growth and strong dividend growth rate of 11%, those same shares would now be generating approximately $1,266 in annual dividend income. But let's see what happens when we combine regular investments with dividend reinvestment. Starting with that initial $15,000 investment that bought you 220 shares, let's say you also committed to investing an additional $750 every month while reinvesting all your dividends. Here's how it would break down. Initial investment, $15,000, 220 shares. Monthly investment, $750. Starting annual dividend income, $417. Time period, 10 years. Target's 11% 5-year dividend growth rate, consistent dividend reinvestment. Through this combination of regular investing and dividend reinvestment, your annual dividend income would have grown to approximately $10,050 today. This dramatic increase in dividend income illustrates the power of combining systematic investing with Target's strong dividend growth rate and reinvestment strategy. What's particularly impressive is how this methodical approach transforms your $750 monthly contributions into a substantial income stream over time. Especially with a company like Target that offers both an attractive yield 3% and double-digit dividend growth. Let's conclude with our fifth dividend king, Procter & Gamble, PG, one of the most iconic and enduring consumer brands in history. Operating in the consumer staples sector with a substantial market cap of $385 billion, P&G has built its success not on revolutionary innovations, but on something equally valuable, consistency and pricing power. Over the past 12 months, shares of P&G have delivered a solid 12% return, reflecting the company's steady and reliable nature. What makes P&G particularly interesting is their approach to growth. While they're not revolutionizing the industry with breakthrough technologies, they've mastered the art of steady progress through pricing power, smart packaging redesigns, and an unmatched understanding of consumer behavior. Their portfolio includes everyday essentials we all use, from paper towels and napkins to laundry detergent, soap, toothpaste, and much more. When it comes to financial performance, P&G continues to demonstrate remarkable consistency in cash flow generation. The company has now pushed its free cash flow above $15 billion, showcasing their ability to maintain profitability, even in challenging economic conditions. This steady cash flow provides a solid foundation for their dividend program and ongoing operations. Looking at valuation, P&G presents an interesting case. The company is expected to generate EPS of $6.64 per share next year resulting in a forward P.E. ratio of 24.1 times. This valuation sits right in line with their historical five-year average of 24.5 times, suggesting the stock is fairly valued. This stability in valuation metrics reflects the market's confidence in P&G's business model and consistent execution. The dividend story at P&G is particularly compelling, currently offering a 2.5% yield with a steady six-year average growth rate What's truly remarkable is their dividend growth streak, an astounding 68 consecutive years of increases. This is the longest streak among all our featured dividend kings today, demonstrating P&G's unmatched commitment to shareholder returns. Let's explore how an investment in P&G could have grown over time through a practical example. Ten years ago, shares of P&G traded at $88.10. With an initial investment of $15,000, you would have been able to purchase approximately 170 shares. In your first year, your annual dividend income would have been around $447,
reflecting P&G's dividend rate at that time. Through P&G's consistent dividend increases over the decade, those same shares would now be generating approximately $892 in annual dividend income. Even more impressive is the power of combining regular investments with dividend reinvestment. Starting with that initial $15,000 investment that secured you 170 shares, imagine also committing to investing $750 every month while reinvesting all your dividends. Beginning with that modest annual dividend income of $447 from your initial position, through the powerful combination of your consistent monthly investments of $750, P&G's impressive 68-year dividend growth streak, and the compounding effect of dividend reinvestment over the decade, your annual dividend income would have grown to approximately $8,100 today. This remarkable growth in dividend income demonstrates how combining regular investing with dividend reinvestment in a quality company like P&G can create substantial wealth over time. Looking ahead, P&G continues to focus on several growth catalysts. Their strategy centers on premium product innovations, expansion in emerging markets, growing e-commerce presence, and ongoing cost productivity improvements. However, investors should be aware of certain risks, including competition from private label brands, rising input costs, currency exposure, and intense competition in the consumer goods space. Despite these challenges, P&G's combination of unmatched brand power, proven pricing ability, extensive distribution network, and commitment to shareholder returns makes it a cornerstone holding for dividend growth investors. With their focus on steady, reliable growth and a dividend growth streak spanning nearly seven decades, P&G exemplifies the kind of company that can serve as a foundation for a long-term dividend growth portfolio. So there you have it. Five legendary dividend kings that have collectively increased their dividends for over 300 years. Think about that. These companies have navigated through multiple recessions, market crashes, technological disruptions, and even a global pandemic, all while consistently putting more money in shareholders' pockets year after year. Each of these companies brings something unique to the table. Coca-Cola, a beverage empire with 61 years of dividend growth and global brand dominance. Johnson & Johnson, a healthcare giant with 61 years of increases and strong free cash flow. Walmart, a retail powerhouse with 50 plus years of dividend growth and digital transformation. Target, boasting 55 years of dividend increases with an impressive turnaround story. And Procter & Gamble, a consumer staples leader with an incredible 68-year dividend growth streak. What we've learned today is that the real power of dividend investing comes from combining three key elements. Making an initial investment in quality companies, maintaining consistent monthly contributions, and reinvesting dividends over time. As we've seen through our $15,000 investment examples with each company, this approach can transform modest beginnings into significant income streams over the years. Whether you're just starting your dividend investing journey or looking to strengthen your existing portfolio, these dividend kings deserve serious consideration for their proven track records and ongoing commitment to shareholder returns. I hope you found value in this deep dive into these legendary dividend-paying companies. If you have, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps ensure you don't miss out on future analyses of dividend stocks and wealth-building strategies. I'd also love to hear from you in the comments about which of these dividend kings you currently own or are considering adding to your portfolio. Your experiences and insights add tremendous value to our community's collective knowledge. Before we wrap up, I need to share an important disclaimer. As I am not a financial advisor, everything we've discussed today is for educational purposes only. Always conduct your own thorough research and consider consulting with a financial professional before making any investment decisions. Remember that past performance doesn't guarantee future results, and dividend policies can change over time. Each person's financial situation is unique, so it's crucial to ensure any investment aligns with your personal goals and risk tolerance. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.